No soapstone was stained, burned, or harmed by acids in the making of this video. Because it can't be, and we'll talk about why in a minute. I'm going to tell you, there's one thing about soapstone that for me is absolutely crucial when deciding on a countertop. It's probably the one most important thing that I would choose over any other surface. I want to tell you about it, but first let's look at the reasons why you definitely shouldn't be choosing soapstone because if you can't get over these hurdles, then you might as well forget about it. But if you can deal with the fact that there are some issues, then the rest is easy. As with most countertops of this nature, stones, manufactured stones, slabs that are manufactured, anything basically other than the laminate, you are paying a pretty high premium for. Because manufactured stones like quartz and natural stones like granite and quartzite are so popular, have flooded the market, meaning that the price of these items can be a little bit lower because they sell so much of them. And this is one of the problems with soapstone. If you go into a store to purchase countertops, you'll see a ton of quartz options, a ton of granite options, and maybe one or two soapstone options. And because of this factor, the price can be just a little bit higher. Now it's not astronomically higher to purchase soapstone as it is granite or quartz material, but it is a little bit higher. So you are going to pay a little more for soapstone than most other stones when you compare them side by side. The reason that there are not very many options to choose from is because there's not very many options to choose from. Soapstone only comes in a limited variety of colors, mostly a gray color with some blues and greens and blacks. You're pretty limited. So if you like that particular look, then hey, all good. But if you're looking for more variety, then there's going to be an issue. Soapstone has an interesting name. When you think granite, you think something very solid and hard and like a rock. And although soapstone is a rock, the name that it has makes you think that it's much softer and it is much softer. Not to be confused with durability, but soapstone will scratch quite a bit easier. Now, the main mineral in soapstone is talc. You've heard of talcum powder, baby powder. It's the talc that gives it that soapy, smooth feel of texture when you touch it. That's where the name originates from. It kind of feels soapy. But it's the presence of this talc that makes it easy to scratch. Now there's two varieties basically of soapstone. There's an artistic grade which has a high talc content and there's an architectural grade which has a lower talc content. These are the ones that they produce for slabs for countertops because the more talc, the easier it is to scratch or carve for artistic purposes. But in a countertop solution, you want something to be harder. Even though it's harder in architectural grade, it is still susceptible to scratching. So if you want a countertop that you do not want any scratches on and you want it to be pristine, soapstone is definitely not the choice for you. It is going to scratch. Not a matter of if it will, it's when will it scratch probably the first day you own it. And the thing needs to be oiled fairly regularly. That's what gives it the look that people really desire. Usually from the quarry, soapstone is a light gray color, but when oil is applied, it brings out the richness of the stone. And this is something that needs to be repeated. Now don't go grab your regular household cooking oil to oil up your soapstone. You definitely want to use something like a grapeseed oil, something that will not go rancid over time. If this is a big deal for you, you just want something that you don't have to worry about any of that stuff then this might not be something that you want to invest your money in. But if you're down with all that and you don't care that you have to oil it or it's going to scratch or there's limited options or it's a little pricey, then the reasons to buy soapstone are really good. When I look for a countertop, especially something that I'm going to put a lot of money into, I want to make sure it has one specific thing. Above all the other benefits of any given surface, there's one thing that I really value. But first, let me tell you about the opportunity to work personally with me on a one-on-one -on -one consultation about your next kitchen renovation. Check the link in the description below. We can chat about your kitchen. You can get a second set of eyes. You can get my input into your design and we can really brainstorm to make sure that your kitchen layout is exactly what you want it to be. Picture in your mind you're cooking something, it's on the stove, it's very hot, you take it off the stove, you put it down on the countertop, maybe accidentally, maybe on purpose, you didn't think to put a trivet down or something of that sort, and all of a sudden you have a burn mark on your countertop. Your very expensive countertop that you paid 
Lots of money for, you cherish it, you waited for this to happen, you couldn't wait to get this beautiful countertop, and now there's this searing mark on your surface. Maybe that cannot be repaired. Even if it can be, what a pain it is now that you have to deal with this. Soapstone is naturally heat resistant. It's the ideal surface for hot pots and pans, which is the one thing that I absolutely really want in a countertop. I wanna be able to not worry about burning it. I don't care about scratching it but I do care about burning it. I also expect countertops to be durable. Quartz slabs, very durable. Granite is naturally very, very durable. I've done tests with granite where I dropped sledgehammers on it. It barely did a thing. And soapstone is also a very durable countertop. It's not gonna crack or break on you. If you did drop something on it, your countertop is likely going to be very safe. There's something about soapstone that many people absolutely love. It's the look. It's not so much the benefits, it's what the countertop looks like and feels like. Again, the mineral talk that's in the surface itself gives it that nice soft texture, but also the very beautiful natural veining. And once that top is oiled, the richness of that material really shines through. For a lot of people, that is a big benefit. They want their countertop to look beautiful. And soapstone definitely is a beautiful looking countertop. And while you agree that oiling the countertop is not that big a deal for you, the daily care and maintenance of soapstone is next to none. It doesn't need any special care for daily cleaning. Now the reason that it's super easy to maintain is because it's non-porous. It doesn't absorb water. And if it doesn't absorb water, it won't absorb the bacteria that's in that water. And so then that's when you get a problem. So the porosity of the stone helps it to be naturally antibacterial. Unlike other natural stones like granites or even quartzite, they are naturally porous, meaning they can absorb not only bacteria, but stains and the like. So you don't have to worry so much about dropping something on your countertop, spilling wine or tomato sauce or turmeric, turmeric, whatever. You don't have to worry so much. And that is a real big benefit because when I'm cooking in the kitchen, making up a big meal, serving up something fresh, I don't wanna be worried about guarding this countertop so much. I just want it to be user-friendly. Not only is it user-friendly, it's also eco-friendly because it's a natural material. And I think in the world that we live in, being a little more eco-friendly is a good idea. And this is one way that you can promote that. One of the issues with granite material is that it does emit radiation. I don't know the degree. I don't know the science behind it. I don't even know if it's something you should be concerned about, but it is something to look into, maybe investigate further, but it's not a concern with soapstone. Now, one of the concerns while we're on the topic is that soapstone and talc in particular has been linked to having asbestos, which we all know is a very dangerous material. So do some research if you are purchasing soapstone countertop to make sure that whatever the top is you're purchasing does not have asbestos in it. And I think this is only an issue with talcum powder, not so much the mineral that is in the countertop itself, just something to think about or maybe investigate a little further on your own. Soapstone changes with time. It has a very unique patina that comes out over time and increases the beauty, in my opinion, of the stone surface. That's an aesthetic benefit, but something that a lot of people look for. Maybe you're one of those people. You don't have to use harsh chemicals. There's really no need to. I guess you could if you wanted to, but you can use eco-friendly solutions such as just vinegar and water or lemon juice and water to clean your countertop. It will not affect or etch your material at all. It's non-porous. It's not like marble or granite where that could be a problem. Potentially, soapstone, you don't have to worry about that. Now, a cool benefit of soapstone is that you can also make a sink out of it so that if you want to have an integrated sink or one of those fancy farmhouse apron front soapstone sinks that are really, really cool, you can do that very easily. It will cost a little bit, of course, and the same care and maintenance would be involved as with a soapstone countertop but it makes a very beautiful sink. One of the reasons, of course, like I mentioned, is it is non-porous. It will not harbor bacteria, making it a great sink material. And because slab backsplashes are very popular right now, you can also do this with soapstone. If you wanna have a gorgeous looking backsplash, you can make it out of your soapstone slab. Whether it matches your countertop or as a unique feature, this is something to think about because it's very durable, very easy to clean and it looks beautiful. And a lesser known use for soapstone is as a floor tile. So if you decide to go with a different material for your countertop, you could put soapstone tiles on your floor. Again, very durable, non-porous, resistant to heat, they will scratch, but it can be a really nice floor. Really nice on your bare little toes. 
<laughs> if you're looking to go down a rabbit hole of countertop materials like porcelain, quartz, quartzite, granite, I have a playlist that you should definitely check out. Chat soon. See ya.